Hey y'all, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're gonna be comparing the pricing for Fathom Analytics and Umami Analytics. So I launched a lot of side projects and use analytics to help me understand how they're doing and if they're worth investing more into. Now for the past few years, I've used Fathom Analytics, but recently have gotten a lot of suggestions for Umami Analytics. So here we'll compare the pricing of the two. Now, if you wanna get started with Fathom Analytics, you can use my code here to get $10 off of your first month. This is a referral. All right, on to comparing pricing. So both Fathom and Umami do event-based pricing. Note that Fathom used to have additional fees to add sites beyond 50, but have since removed them. And this is one of my biggest gripes with them um, in the past, but they no longer have this limit, so that's good. And we'll be pulling the pricing for both of them from their respective pricing pages, which I have linked here. And so I pulled these out into a table um, so you can look at it. And the general gist is that Umami has a flat $20 per million event structure, which means their pricing scales linearly. And we can see that, you know, for up to 1 million, it's $20, 2 million, $40, 5 million, 100, and just scales linearly like that. On the other hand, Fathom has a higher upfront cost, but starts giving discounts at the high end. And so we can see that like Fathom is more expensive all the way until we get up to the 10 million mark where they're even, and then it slowly gets a few discounts um, as you get into the bulk range. And we can see this more clearly when we chart the pricing of both compared to the events. And so we see here at the low range, you know, Fathom is, is more expensive. And then right at the 10 million mark, they converge. And then um, Fathom slowly gets less expensive here. Um, and they do like enterprise bulk pricing as well when you get higher up. Now I will note that both, once you get to this like 25 million range, um, allow you to do like enterprise support. And at that point you might be able to ask for bulk discounts. So um, it's kind of unclear, but if you're at that you know level, uh, the pricing structure isn't quite as, as straightforward, I'd, I'd imagine. Next. So overall, I've been pretty happy with both analytics providers. They're simple to integrate with and provide easy to read dashboards of your data. I've currently got sites on both. And while Umami does have a pricing edge for my skill, it's not so significant that I feel a huge urge to switch everything over. I'm still in like the lowest tier on Fathom. And if I was doing like more than I might consider switching because that pricing does change a lot. Um, but for me, it doesn't really matter that much. Now, let me know if you choose one versus the other, or if you have another analytics provider you prefer. I'd love to check them out. Um, this is always like, you know, a big important part of kind of any online side project. And of course, if you're looking to try Fathom, please use my code. You get $10 off your first month. Um, and this goes towards my referral credits. Now, if you like this post, you might also like Fathom Analytics dashboard walkthrough, kind of showing you how I use Fathom and what all the parts of them mean. You might also be interested in how to use Fathom Analytics with F Sharp and Draft.View Engine. This is how I built most of my sites these days. And because I often use Fathom Analytics, this is how I plug in analytics there. And you might also be interested in use Fathom Analytics with SwapKit if that's more of your tech stack. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.